Hey, and welcome to, let's call it, African payment time. Uh, we're not so locked down as we used to be, so we don't have to stay at home quite as often. Um, yeah, today I thought I'd carry on. Uh, there were some interesting extracts from that State of Crypto Africa report, which would be very useful for our multinational merchants, just from a generic payment perspective, um, just to give... Um, our multinational e-commerce merchants the context of you know doing business in Africa and um, the uh, thoughts around forex mobile phones digital and mobile trends and mobile payments so remittance is not quite our game but very interesting because possibly the whole world of payments is going to collapse into a node to node payment system so just to give an idea of remittances and the size of it across Africa, the cost is about 9% uh, to make a transaction as compared to a global average of 6.8%. And, and remittances are a really big component of economic income uh, in sub-Saharan Africa. There's 25 million expats who send home more than $48 billion a year. Uh, and in sub-Saharan Africa, we have the fastest growing migrant populations over the last 10 years. Having said that, capital controls, many African countries uh, impose capital controls to shore up their forex reserves. It's compounded by authorities trying to defend their currencies, which uh, deflate away. They're, they're inflationary and uh, they lose their value rapidly. Uh, Nigeria and South Africa come to mind and this can lead to sudden restrictions in foreign exchange. We've always got to be careful as a payment processor on the continent that we can repatriate the funds to our multinational merchants. And in terms of the digital and mobile trends, almost 60% of sub-Saharan African population live in rural areas and that's why the mobile and digital solutions make a lot more sense to a sub-Saharan African situation. In terms of uh, traditional finance, I think Africa's pretty much leapfrogged traditional finance, finance entirely and has gone straight to uh, mobile banking. Mobile payments are really big, as you know, really. The success of M-Pesa has paved the way for mobile money, like 120 different flavors of mobile money. And there's now 37 million active M-Pesa users across seven countries. Most of them are in Kenya. And uh, M-Pesa is processing 11 billion transactions a year. 21% of sub-Saharan Africans use uh, mobile money these days. And there are more mobile money accounts than traditional bank accounts. So there's a good idea, high-level overview of the sub-Saharan African situation for our multi-level merchants. If you're looking for card or mobile money at the checkout, please get hold of us at africanpaymentsolutions.com. Send us an inquiry and we'll get you paid with the key payment methods across the continent. Well, I hope you found that useful and interesting. Have a fantastic day and we'll chat again tomorrow.